Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Mike. I'm an internal medicine physician and today I'm going to teach you the difference between a heart attack and cardiac arrest. Mike, I thought those were the same things. Yeah, you and most people really. And to be honest, me too, up until partway through med school. We just thought it was the same thing, right? Mm, not so much. But before we dive in, we need to talk about the heart, what it does and how it does what it does. The heart is just a muscle. It beats from the day you're born until the day you die and actually a few weeks before you're born because it beats when you're a fetus. But I digress. For the heart muscle to do what it does, it needs a couple things. One, it needs blood. And to get the blood, it needs arteries. Most people have three major arteries and from each of those arteries come off a number of branches that perfuse or give blood to all the cardiac tissue or all the heart tissue, all the heart muscle that you've got. The heart also has an electrical system that makes sure the heart beats in sync, in unison, and as it's supposed to, not as it's not supposed to. So how does that get us into heart attack versus cardiac arrest? Well, like this. A heart attack is the blockage of one of those blood vessels. Essentially a clot or a ruptured plaque or just a growing plaque or even a spasm could stop blood getting through the coronary arteries, through the heart arteries, to the tissue it needs to get to. So what happens to that heart tissue behind where that blockage is, that heart tissue that's no longer getting the blood? Well, if part of you doesn't get blood, that part of you will die. The longer it is blocked, the more likely it is for all that tissue to die. If it's blocked for a short time, maybe some of it will die, maybe none of it will die if you're really lucky. But if part of that is blocked, some of that muscle tissue will probably die. Now, what does that actually mean for you and what does it mean for your heart? Well, a dead heart muscle is not a well-functioning heart muscle. Whatever part of that is dead will not beat like the rest of the heart will. If it's a large heart attack, a large part of your heart won't beat. If it's a small heart attack, a small part of your heart won't beat. So heart attack, artery blocked. Now, what is cardiac arrest? Well, cardiac arrest is a problem with the electrical system. The heart has a very elegant and beautiful electrical system that keeps it beating in sync and beating properly throughout the course of your life. Now, what happens if something interrupts that? Well, there are things that a lot of people live with, like atrial fibrillation or atrial flutter. Those things we see TV commercials for all the time. Some things are not so lovely to live with. In fact, some things you can't live with. When part of the electrical system gets messed up, that causes the heart to beat incorrectly or not at all. Now, there are many things that can cause cardiac arrest, and very often it's actually a heart attack. So remember when I said that the tissue behind that blockage will die? That tissue also includes part of the heart's electrical system. So if the muscle dies and the electrical system dies, you may be creating a short in the electrical system. That will cause everything to go haywire. Now that being said, a heart attack is not the only way to cause cardiac arrest. There are certain genetic disorders, there are other diseases that can cause cardiac arrest, that can cause abnormalities in the heart's electrical circuit. But what we do see often is a heart attack that will lead to cardiac arrest. There are other things that a heart attack can do, none of them being good by the way, but that's one of the things it can do. So, cardiac arrest, messing up with the electrical system. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you learned something. If there's other things that you wanna learn, you want me to teach you, Drop it down below in the comment section. I love doing this stuff. I love breaking these complex upper level medical things down to something that everybody can understand. And frankly, that's how my brain works. So I thought I might as well share it with you. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button, consider subscribing, drop what you'd like to know down below and I'll see you in the next video.